Hi everyone and welcome back to Woodland Frenchie. So hope you guys are having a great day today. Uh, just like I promised in last week's video, I told you we're going to have a special guest. Uh, she is here with us today along with, again, Jay with Preferred Frenchies. Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, thanks for having me again, Tyler. Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, we wanted to definitely bring on Izzy, which obviously here she is. How old is Izzy about right now, Jay? Yeah, she's uh, coming up on seven months. So she was born on April 25th. Seven months, almost seven months old, guys. She is a, a beauty. Um, so yeah, before we get started, guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're definitely gonna bring more cool, interesting content, have more kind of fun things like we're doing today. Um, and just, instead of just, you know, Woodland Frenchies. So just, it's a really exciting day here at Woodland Frenchies, um, getting to hang out with Preferred. So yeah, guys, in today's video, we're gonna just talk about fluffy Frenchies and kind of like where the market is, you know, what's the hottest fluffy, what determines, uh, uh, a fluffy cost at this high to down here. Just get into more details about that. And maybe talk more about some exotic colors such as Izzy. Um, but yeah, and you might be seeing the horse in the background. Not the actual horse in the field, but this little big horse here. Who's this? What's his name as well? Uh, his name's Simon. Simon. Yeah, he's a great name. Everybody. Hey, guy. Yeah, what's up? Wolf? So he just, he's the protector here at Preferred Frenchies, you guys. <laughs> so feel free to check Preferred Frenchies out. The link is in the bio. Um, give them a follow on their Instagram and all their socials for sure. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. Not sure how long it's gonna take, but let's get into it, Jay. Uh, first off, start by just sharing how long you've been breeding French Bulldogs and uh, just kind of your story with Frenchies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we started as uh, breeders about four years ago. Um, started with your standard short haired um, Frenchies for sure and then kind of progressed into your more exotic uh, Frenchies like Izzy here um, and it's just been a really just a blessing so mm -hmm. yeah very good and Izzy obviously she you said she's seven months old so she hasn't had her uh, her first litter yet uh, but when would you be expecting a litter from yeah. Izzy um, I'd say probably this coming spring, um, spring of 2023, uh, possibly um, even into the summertime, depending on the veterinarian's recommendation and just kind of going off of that. So, very good. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, she is a full fluffy. You can clearly mm -hmm. see that, guys. I mean, to have a full fluffy, you need to get a, the fluffy gene from the mom, fluffy gene from the dad. Uh, and obviously, that's what we have here. But what makes Izzy special besides just she's a fluffy friend? She kind of go into her, her qualities. Absolutely. So, um, I guess first off, she's an Isabella, um, and she carries New Shade, which is super rare. So, mm -hmm. I could probably count uh, count on one hand how many uh, Fluffies her age, uh, with her color coat DNA, mm -hmm. um, exist in, in the U.S. from my knowledge. Now, I can't really say, you know, a specific number necessarily, but mm -hmm. um, with her confirmation, her genetic makeup, um, it's super super rare to find right now yep. and that's just kind of especially with the confirmation and quality that's just what makes Izzy so special for sure mm -hmm. um, just yeah she's wonderful so yeah and just to re reiterate that guys she is seven months old obviously there are Isabella new shades right now um, new puppies you know there are a lot more than um, at this time being born currently but yeah as far as her age there's just not that many mm -hmm. so we're you guys are obviously trying to get ahead of the game. Uh, you haven't found the stud yet. We have not. So we're actually looking at possibly um, breeding to a um, Isabella New Shade and Pan Merle. Um, that's what we're hoping for, but it's been it's been tough to find. So it's still a super rare thing, and it's mm -hmm. just. It's a, it's still way, way behind and like we, it's just hard to find overall, so. And we'll get into some more possible dogs you could breed her too, but yeah, you're, you're trying to shoot for the full Isabella New Shade Merle Pups is, mm -hmm. is what you're trying to go to now. Again, there probably are some being bored, but as far as finding a stud that's ready to breed for Izzy, we're still looking for that. So maybe if you do, if you see this video and you have that good confirmation, give us, give us a follow, reach out. But one thing we are doing is going to a show this weekend in Dallas. You. So hopefully we're trying to make some connections out there. Uh, we'll be flying together. We'll be taking Izzy um, to the, what's the show called in Dallas? Um, it's the Frenchie Bowl. So Frenchie Bowl. Yep, it'll be close to Dallas-Fort Worth. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're hoping to kind of get some uh, connections and, and find some new people to kind of uh, network with, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yep. And then after that, following, not following, but the last weekend in November, we'll be going to Frenchie's Gone Viral in, in, uh, in Miami <coughs> as well. So if you guys are watching the video, we'll hopefully see you there. Uh, but yeah, we're kind of partnering together, going together, hanging out. And uh, uh, you'll have Izzy at the Miami show, plus you'll have Tesla there, which I know you have a reservation on uh, Tesla's litter mm -hmm. already. So great customer to been talking about. So we're excited for her to get one of her pups. And we'll show um, Tesla maybe in, in another video here, but she's beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. So um, other than... Yeah, I mean, as far as price ranges, I mean, you don't have to get into specific detail, but, um, I mean, as far as, let's just say somebody on this video here, they're not a breeder, but they're looking to adopt or buy a Fluffy Frenchie, kind of explain how that works, how, like, is that common right now, like, um, do many people do that? Because here at Woodland, we don't have Fluffy Frenchies, just being honest with you, but we wanted to bring Jay preferred on and talk about that, but, um, yeah, kind of, kind of give that rundown on just Fluffy Frenchies in general. Mm-hmm. Um, so at the time, um, to my knowledge, I don't know anyone selling fluffies as pets. Mm -hmm. um, they're still super rare, so it's like just in the breeder's market, they're definitely, you know, gaining popularity, mm -hmm. um, really coming around. Come here, Izzy. Come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. She's fine. Yeah. Um, but as far as, you know, your pet market, your general, just people um, knowing about Frenchies, Fluffies in general, um, is also like, that's just a really, just a really <laughs> new thing. So, so it's, um, as far as price goes, it's, you know, as far as pet pricing, um, it's definitely two or three times more than your regular Frenchie. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as your breeder market, I mean, you can go as far as tens to thousands of dollars and sometimes ranging even to, you know, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars. So um, definitely a wide range there depending on color, uh, confirmation, just DNA quality, everything kind of plays a role in that. So. Absolutely. Yep. yep. And then I'm sure, you know, with this, you know, with a puppy like this, I mean, you're obviously looking to sell her pups to a breeder. Um, I mean, if the right celebrity or whatever wants to buy a puppy, I'm sure you'll sell it to them, but right. they're going to be expensive with uh, confirmation and DNA color. Um, but I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's people out there that have sold a fluffy as a pet, but you don't necessarily, I mean, see that happen too often. Maybe that it didn't have the right color or confirmation, stuff like that. So Now I will say the reservation we have on Tesla's litter, that is a pet yeah. reservation, so. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, other than that, I mean, as far as people having questions about fluffies, you know, I'm sure the question is, do they shed more than others? Do that, you know, I mean, that would be a question I'm sure somebody has. How much do they shed? Have you seen, I mean, she's still seven months, have you seen her shed much compared to others? Or? Um, she doesn't shed more, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Um, but there's st still definitely a shedding factor in there. Mm -hmm. um, it's not, you know, definitely not a non-shedding breed for sure, and it's... It's still a Frenchie, so, but... She has a really nice yeah. soft coat, that's for sure. It's not wiry or anything. Um, is there a difference, have you seen in, in Frenchies, is it mostly the soft kind of coat, or is... I, I mean, I've just seen a soft coat so far. Soft like that. Um, just, especially as puppies, it's like they're just <laughs> literally a little fluff ball. Um, now, sometimes, you know, the hair around the ears um, are as soft as, like, a blanket. Um, sometimes over the back, they start to get a little bit more brittle. Um, but it's definitely not like your short haired standard look or feel. So, um, big difference there. Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, hopefully on the camera you guys saw, I mean, confirmation wise again, I know you mentioned it a little briefly, but talk about fluffies in general and confirmation. Mm -hmm. What what do you see currently? Um, yeah, in that world. Um, as far as confirmation goes, I would say um, it's not where it should be. <laughs> Um, it's a work in progress, just like everything with, I mean, just a new thing in general. It takes a little while, just like blues when they came around. Um, there were health issues, there were um, just confirmation issues. They weren't up to par where they could have been. Mm -hmm. um, but at the time, blues are just like, I'd say probably 10% of Frenchies have blue or carry blue. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's going to be a work in progress with uh, fluffy Frenchies as well. You'll see a little bit of a de deteriorated uh, fluffy confirmation 
Um, to start with, like right now, it's still relatively early in the game, but as it progresses, we'll definitely, you know, see really good confirmation. Um, you know, just progressing over time and getting better with genetics. So. so yeah, guys. I mean, whether you are, you know, you have a stud in mind for her, let it give us a shout out. If you guys want a high end fluffy that's gonna be amazing, give for Frenchies a follow. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna cost some. It's a though for her letter, so obviously be prepared for that. Uh, check them out at preferredfrenchies.com. And I just really appreciate your time today. Just talking about Fluffy, showcasing Izzy. Uh, in my opinion, what a high-end, beautiful Fluffy should look like. And that's why I wanted to, you know, today's video, I mean, it's all about Fluffy Frenchies, but if you're watching this video and you're new to a Fluffy, like, this is what it should look like. If, you're, if you are want one as a pet, which I'm sure people have them out there, make sure they have great confirmation. Um, and look like a French Bulldog, but have that fluffy look. I mean, they left look wonderful, and I think, I mean, if that's something you want, you know, go for it, adopt one. Um, I'd love to have a French fluffy French, you know, right now they just cost a lot of money, <laughs> but uh, definitely it's don't be a uh, way to do so. So, thanks for your time, and uh, I think we want to talk more on uh, exotic colors and uh, more on that on our next video guys so stay tuned for that i'm going to interview keep on interviewing jay here and uh talk more about maybe exotic colors um, since we have a nice beautiful isabella new shade carrier here as well so thanks guys hit that subscribe button hit his socials up and look forward to seeing you in the next video